Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Camarilla back with another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be breaking down the global data download that happened this morning and more specifically what it tells us about the upcoming celebration on the global which is starting in about four days from the time this video comes out. Now first things first, the main I guess headlining unit for this celebration is going to be the int LR Super Saiyan God Goku and I gotta say this unit probably has some of the best card art in the entire game from the SSR form to the TUR form and then of course the LR form just amazing art all the way through and overall he is a extremely extremely good unit but I won't lie I gotta be honest that I was a little bit disappointed when I saw that it was this guy and not the STR transforming cooler that was going to be headlining the celebration. You guys know that I am extremely excited for the cooler, probably the main unit I'm saving my stones for at this point, aside from the LR Gogeta and LR Vegito for the five year anniversary. So yeah, definitely a little disappointed, but it's okay. You know what? Life goes on and I'm sure cooler will come out sooner than later. All right, so we got the God Goku. And we also are finally getting the Dokkan Awakenings for the Int Scouter Vegeta as well as the uh, Int Kid Gohan from the Attribute Banners. And both of these Awakenings are extremely, extremely powerful. They both could easily reach over 2 million attack in my test on top of being just ridiculous in support. So yeah, definitely looking forward to these guys as well. And without further ado, why don't we start here with a quick breakdown of the Int Super Saiyan God Goku's details, and then we'll go from there, all right? So this dude actually has a very interesting leader skill. He's a dual category leader for two of the biggest and most OP categories in the entire game, Pure Saiyans and Hybrid Saiyans, key plus four, HP, attack, and defense, plus 130%. Now obviously 130% not super high, but he's still very interesting just because these two categories are absolutely massive, right? And being able to run both of them under the same leader is pretty insane. So uh, that's the main thing, honestly, for me that I'm interested in for this unit, being able to run Hybrid Saiyans and Pure Saiyans at the same time. Um, on top of that, his super attack, he has two of course, Limit Breaker Kamehameha is the 12 key which greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And the 18 key is Dragon Smash which greatly raises attack and defense for three turns and causes mega colossal damage while greatly lowering the enemy's defense. So those are the supers and his passive is attack plus 77% and key plus one up to plus five and defense plus 11% up to plus 55% per Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans category ally self-excluded on the team, high chance of evading enemies attack including super attack and performing a critical hit for seven turns from start of turn. All right, so a lot to take in there. Essentially, if you have a mostly Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans team, he'll get attack plus 77%, defense plus 55%, and also has a high chance of evading enemies attack and performing a crit for the first seven turns. His links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Warrior Gods, Godly Power, Over in a Flash, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. I really wish he had Fierce Battle instead of Shattering the Limit. But what can you do? All right, so decent link set right there. I wish Legendary Power, honestly, was updated to be a 10% or 15% attack boost as opposed to a flat 5,000. Um, obviously, when it first came out, I think it was a decent link. But nowadays, 5,000 attack really isn't that much. So uh, hopefully that happens in the future, just a random side note. Now I know these numbers don't seem super high, like 77%, 55%, and there was actually a lot of controversy, or at least a lot of debate, when the details for this unit um, was first released on JP, because a lot of people thought that he was gonna be a free-to-play LR because he was only getting you know, such low boosts, right? But in practice and in reality, when you're using him, he actually still does really well 
um, offensively and defensively because he has that high chance to evade, he has that high chance to crit, and he's also building up his attack and defense for at least 3 turns with the Ultra Super, so um, in practice he is a very very good unit with an extremely good leader skill that I am personally super interested in, and I do look forward to hopefully pulling him, I'm not going to go too deep, obviously I would recommend most people to still be very conservative with their stone spending up until the 5 year anniversary because those banners for the anniversary are just insane on top of the main LRs, the Gogeta and Vegito being insane, so definitely still want to have as many stones for that as possible, but I personally will be spending some stones just because I am interested in this unit. Uh, let's move on to the int Vegeta here. So he is an extreme int type leader, key plus 4, HP, attack and events plus 120%, so slightly better than the int kid Boo. And his super attack is Galaxy Eraser, raises attack and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. His passive int types key plus 3 plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% for extreme int types and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to int key spheres, attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained. Link's Brutal Beatdown, Saiyan Warrior Race, Prodigies, Royal Lineage, Big Bad Bosses, Shadowing the Limit, and Nightmare. So. Just an extremely, extremely good Awakening, man. Such a huge upgrade to uh, this unit, and he's, of course, the best possible extreme int support in the game right now. Um, and I love this character, too. I mean, we needed a good Scouter Vegeta, so just a lot of good things to like about this unit. And moving on to the Int Kid Gohan, very similar to the Vegeta, except for the Super Class side of things. So he is a Super Int type leader, key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense, plus 100 and 20% super attack is Masenko, which causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense by 30% for 9 turns. And his passive is int types, key plus 3, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% for super int types. And randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to int key spheres, attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained. Links are innocence, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Gaze of Respect, Prepare for Battle and shattering the limit. Alright, so those are all the new units we can expect from the next celebration, at least the ones we know about from Deep Sea Space. And next up is a quick look at the Int LR Super Saiyan God Goku banner. There's not much to talk about here. It is your standard legendary summon banner, which means that it's going to be, you know, a lot of featured SSRs. A lot of them are okay but like nothing to get excited about to be honest and obviously all of them are general SSR pool units so they can be pulled on every single banner there's not really an exclusive here I mean the only bright side of course is the fact that we do have the LR Super Saiyan God Goku featured and also every other LR in the game at least non Dokkan Fest LRs can also be pulled on this banner if you get really lucky um, but aside from that yeah just your standard uh, legendary summon banner. Let's see how many featured cards we have here. 12 total featured SSRs here, which gives the God Koo about a 0.4 to 0.5% chance of being summoned, which is still quite low. You're still taking a risk here, and uh, that's why I say even if you guys really want LR Super Saiyan God Goku, don't go too crazy, all right? Do a couple hundred stones, maybe like 100, 200 at the most, and then call it a day, all right? Next up is the int type banner, which is gonna be making a return for the Dokkan Awakenings of the uh, Goku or Gohan and Vegeta. And while the featured units aren't that great, I mean, we have this Oceana Shenron who recently just came out and she is actually really good for the uh, Shadow Dragons team. Um, Paragus is a decent support, he's actually a really good tank. Uh, she's actually really good now with the Token Awakening on Global. And of course we have the main guys right here, the Kid Gohan and the Scouter Vegeta. And then this uh, Int Vegeta is also still really solid. But the main thing you want to look at for these banners, um, it's not actually the featured units but rather the unfeatured SSRs and out of a total of 41 SSRs in this banner, three of them, the Bojack, the uh, Trio here, and also the LR Gohan are LRs, right? So you have a pretty decent chance of pulling 
a int type lr if you guys are looking for those um, on this banner and of course same thing goes for the other type banners like the tech banner the ajl banner and so on and so forth um, these banners are always good for hunting those specific types of lrs you're looking for so um, if you guys are missing those guys then maybe not a bad idea to do a couple summons and of course like i said these awakenings for the two supports um, they're extremely good all right so that's the int type banner right there and now let's talk about the other thing we learned about, which is we are finally getting the new missions for the uh, Legendary Goku event, which is the most popular name, but really the English name, at least according to Bandai, is Fighting Legend Goku. Um, currently, we only have these seven missions, which is to clear the event up to seven times, right? For 35 stones, 35 tickets, not a bad deal, but after you were done with that, there wasn't really a reason to run the event except for bragging rights, I guess, or for showcases if you are a content creator. But now, we're getting all these other missions that JP got a couple months ago, and it just gives us much more reason to play this mode, right? So these missions right here on the top are just for clearing the event all the way through one time. So as you can see, defeating Goku in Phase 1, Super Saiyan Goku in Phase 2, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku, and so on and so forth until you beat the entire event. And uh, that's a total of 10, 12, 13 stones. Is that right? Yeah, 13 stones as well as uh, 10 more tickets for that all Goku banner. But the more interesting missions are down here where you are required to beat the event with a specific team. All right, so you can kind of think of this as like, you know, the super battle road stages, except with the same enemy every single time. And it does, in my opinion, make things a lot more interesting since you have to use specific units for each of these runs. So once you complete all of these missions, you're looking at a total of 50 dragon stones and 50 more tickets towards that all Goku ticket banner. And of course, also bragging rights to your friend since not everybody's going to be able to clear all these missions, at least for a while. The categories are Fusion, Patara, Hybrid Saiyans, Universe Survival Saga, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Full Power Transformation Boost, Movie Heroes, and Movie Bosses. I will be trying to uh, make a video of me clearing the event with each of these um, categories over the course of a couple weeks once this comes out on global wish me luck guys i feel like i'm gonna struggle quite a bit for a few of those i think i've heard that fusion is kind of tough at least on global and uh, some other ones are pretty difficult too pure saiyans is really easy since you have so many options um, i think hybrid saiyans will be okay as well patara i've done already uh, universe survival saga i've done already so a bunch of these i know right off the bat i can beat but i've also yet to try it with a few others so as i said it's gonna be interesting all right so those are the new missions for the legendary goku event moving on we have the extreme z awakening for the str beerus i already did a breakdown of his details in a previous video but for anybody that missed that once he gets an extreme z awakening his leader skill is tech int and str types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent his super attack causes supreme damage and greatly lowers defense and his passive is worthy rivals category allies key plus two attack and defense plus 30 percent defense plus 100 percent and high chance of attack plus 200 percent so that is the str beerus eza right there and we also have the release of update 4.7.1 that just came out with the data download super exciting um, and it fixed the display issue that everybody was obviously complaining about and was aware of um, in the pilafs trove. So thank you to Bandai for that. Really appreciate it. Keep up the great work. All right, moving on. We also found two new items in the global database, but right now nobody knows exactly how we get them or what we use them for. As you can see, it says growth badge, a treasure available during the filled with energy max power reinforcement campaign which i assume is what the new campaign new celebration is going to be called and it can be used in the baba shop so we assume we can exchange them for something there but we don't really have a full list of what you know those items are and the other thing is this loved filled chocolate and it says a treasure available during the event period of the heart skips a beat valentine's day special missions can be used at the baba shop so just like the growth badge here uh, it's also another item that can be exchanged in the baba shop for something 
we don't know exactly what those things are. Like, could it be, you know, those wish trips or those thank you gift cards that we can exchange for units? That'd be great. But it could also just be like, you know, some Elder Kai's and Hercule statues and training items and stuff like that. So we'll have to see. But uh, that pretty much does it for today's video. Those are all the things that we found out about the upcoming celebration, which is starting on February 17th. And uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say. So overall, it looks like a pretty decent celebration. LR Super Saiyan God Goku will be the main unit, the headliner of this celebration. And hopefully, STR Cooler is right after him. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.